Thank you. I give the floor to the International Service for Human Rights. Excellencies, my name is Marie Louise Acosta, I'm coordinator of the Legal Assistance Center for Indigenous Persons. Over the last 25 years, we have been supporting indigenous persons and people of African descent in Nicaragua. The situation of indigenous people in the North Caribbean coast is dire following the Ita and Yota hurricanes, destroying homes, contaminating water, and leading to a food emergency that has not been dealt with. This is combined with attacks that are continuously carried out by armed groups since 2015 and that have led to dozens of deaths and many people wounded, including women victims of sexual violence, leading forced displacement of the indigenous communities of Miskuto and Mayana. All of this without the state complying with its obligation to protect the life, physical and psychological integrity and traditional lands of these people. The situation of human rights defenders of indigenous persons is in Nicaragua is in a very difficult situation through death threats, repression and ill treatment. Also, the state is not adopting any mechanism for the protection of human rights and establishing investigation protocols in situations of risks, threats and aggressions in line with what was agreed in 2016 in the decision Acosta versus Nicaragua by the Inter-American Court on Human Rights. I'd like to urge the Human Rights Council to continue its work on Nicaragua. Thank you.